So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to do this long strip of blending exercise, but instead of blending from just a darker color to a lighter color, we're going to try to blend using the same skills as before from different color to different color. So I'm going to ask you to split this up into four sections initially. So this is 20 centimeters wide. So you were going to split them up into approximately five centimeter sections. If we find the halfway point and we draw a line very lightly, what I'm going to do, I'm going to press a bit harder so you can kind of see it. So these are my four sections. So we're going to start off with blue. We're then going to go to red. So when the colors overlap and merge together, blue and red makes purple. So this central section is going to be purple. Then we're going to go to yellow. This central section where red and yellow merge is going to be orange. And finally, we're going to go back to blue. And where yellow and blue merge, it's going to be green. And finally, we're going to lighten blue from here to there. So when we get to this end section, it's white. So if you look what I'm doing, we're starting off with blue and we're hopefully the blue you paint just here is better than this to show progress. When we get to the blending of yellow to blue, you've got some green. And then finally, the blue fades to white. So when I compare this blending of blue to white, hopefully it is a better quality than this blending of blue to white. So again, you're showing progress and your painting skills are improving. It's a good idea to practice some of your little blending skills on scrap paper before trying it on this main piece of paper, uh, just in case you make a mistake. So we'll start again by cleaning our colors. A bit of yellow on this blue. Okay, and then I'll clean my white up. And you'll note that white is still a lot cleaner. There's no color down the sides. So that's the one I'm keeping just for when I need to paint pure white. So let's start off with my very deep blue. Too watery, need to spend more time mixing. When paints have been left to dry out overnight, they take a bit of time to mix up. Again, if I need a little bit more water, just dip in my brush in a couple of millimeters. Bit better so now painting from my blue section and 
being very careful because what you'll see I'm not twisting the paper around because I want you to be able to clearly see what I'm doing on the video and I think if I start twisting the paper around you might not see it as clearly so I'm just trying to be careful when I'm painting so that's the blue section now the red we're going to stick with this bright red from before so I've got two choices here. Do I mix up a red and purple to go in between? Do I put the blue right up to the line and then the red right up to the line and try to merge them like we merge these? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do my blue color. almost fill in two thirds or three quarters of that box. Then I'm going to clean my brush. I'm going to mix up my red color. Now this red has only been used once so far for the splodge you remember we did. So this is going to take quite a bit of time to get it nice bold color. So now I'm going to paint my red. I'm not going to go up to that line because that's where I start to make orange. So there's my nice bold Red color, so I'm going to make some purple in between. So, just remember what we said sometimes it's easier if you mix the dark color on top of the lighter color. So now we've got. So there's our purple color in between. So if you remember what we did then, so we try to blend some of this purple into the blue. These are drying our brush so it is a little bit damp. Try to gradually blend it in. Trying not to pick up too much paint on the brush, but, but just try to spread it around and blend it in. So we clean our brush again, dry it either with tissue or through our fingers, and then we're going to try to gradually blend that in. I can see that brush has got a bit too much water on it. Now I'm reasonably happy how that blue is blending into the red. So I'm going to do one more section as a demonstration. So we've got now 
red go into yellow. So mix up my yellow. Little bit watery, it's a bit more, a bit more mixing involved. So I'm going to paint my yellow section. So I need to clean my red where well, I took some red for the purple. Okay. So now I'm going to mix up my orange color. So take some red, mix it on top of the yellow. Check it's the right thickness. And now paint the orange section in between. Go in slightly over the colors. Then try in to blend the red into the orange. So the change is quite gradual. Now I'm going to try and blend, clean my brush a bit more and dry it. And then try to blend the orange and yellow together so that change is gradual. So the last thing to do is obviously now is to put some blue there but not go right to the end because you're going to blend to white like we did there and then once you put some blue there mix some blue and yellow to mix some green and try and blend them in and then lastly if you look at for example how good the gradual blending is hopefully it's getting better than the blending you've done there to show progress and if you look how neatly you're keeping to your guidelines hopefully you will keep into your guidelines better than you keep into your guidelines around the other items you've painted again to show progress